welcome to my channel my name is Shanike and I'm super super excited for today's video so in today's video I am going to be decorating my balcony I will be transforming my empty unfunctional balcony into a beautiful outdoor oasis that me and my family can enjoy and I'm super super excited to share this with you guys before we get into the video please remember to like comment and subscribe to the channel let's get started so here's an overview of the balcony it is pretty much empty and it is pretty dirty as well so we basically do not use this space because we have no furniture out here i am going to start off by cleaning the balcony it is pretty dirty because it has not been cleaned in months it has been through sun rain snow it's been through a lot with no cleaning so i'm just going to let it cleaned up before i start decorating days later and I'm working on the flooring so I got these tiles from Ikea so I got one pack of grass and each pack has nine tiles and I got three packs of the wooden tiles as well just so I can have wood and grass and I got mostly wood because the grass is more expensive so that's a great way to save costs and you don't need any special skills to install these, you just snap them together. And I will put the link for these in the description below, just in case you guys are interested. done and I am loving it so far there are some corners that um, the tile wasn't able to reach and I wasn't able to cut them if you have an issue with that you can fill it with a stone you can get stones at Home Depot or even the dollar store but I chose not to put any stone in the corner of mine because I feel like it's a choking hazard for my 15 month old so I'm just going to leave it it won't look, it won't look bad once everything comes together what I'm doing is installing the string light that I got from IKEA it is a plug-in string light because I do have an outlet on the balcony so that will be able to work with the outlet um, you can also use solar powered or battery power depending on, on what you can accommodate and I'm just hanging it on the rail Mm -hmm. 
that's done, I'm going to start putting the furniture in place. And I'm going to start off with this bamboo tree that I got from Ikea as well. I got a lot of the items from Ikea. And I'm just going to be placing it in that basket plant pot that I got from Ikea as well. So this bamboo tree, I got it for... $49 so it's originally $69 and I got it for $49 because it was on display. I'm going to be bringing in this conversation set that I found on Amazon. So this was under 200 Canadian with taxes and everything. So this was definitely a good deal. Usually these are like upwards of $400. So I will definitely put the link in the description below so you guys can check this out if you're looking for an affordable outdoor furniture set because they are really really expensive. Now I'm going to show you guys how to make drainage holes in IKEA ceramic pots. My husband is using this Milwaukee tool half inch diamond plus drill bit for porcelain tile and stone. I'll put that in the description for you guys. You definitely need to use um, something similar to that one or that one so that the pots don't break apart. Once you have the right drill bit you want to put the pot on a flat surface and you want to spray the top with water to make it easier for you to drill through. So that should be the first thing that you do. This pot is done. So the same process with the second pot. Put it on a flat surface, spray the top with water and then start to drill through. These are 15 inch pots that I got from Ikea and all of these pots are under $20. Um, some of them might be under $10 as well. I will put the link for them in the description below. So this is definitely an affordable way for you to make um, your own plant pots instead of buying ceramic pots with um, holes in them. You can just put holes in the Ikea pots and then you can plant your flowers or your plants in them. husband is finished with the pots I'm going to start putting up the plant stand so that plant stand I got from Ikea and I just placed the pots so I can see what they look like and I decided to go with mix and match plants and mix and match pots just to add some character to the plant stand and the plants I got those from Home Depot to be quite honest, I'm not a plant expert. I was so overwhelmed when I went to Home Depot to get these plants. I had no idea which one to choose. But I think I made the right choice. So to repot them, I just squeeze the original pot just to loosen it a bit. And then I remove the whole thing and put it in the new pot. So just um, try that if you're having trouble moving your, your plants to a new pot. to add lanterns for some more lighting and to create just a cozy feel so that large lantern I got that from HomeSense and those candles I got from IKEA I had them from Christmas I used to use them indoor and now I'm using them outdoor so they are battery operated as well and they do operate on a timer and they go on and off I think every six hours 
And I'm just layering that large lantern with a smaller lantern. And the smaller lantern I got from Ikea. And I'm also going to put another one of those candles in the small lantern as well. I do suggest layering your lantern. It does make it look a hundred times better. And it does add a lot of character as well. So it doesn't look just plain and boring with one lantern floating around. So I do suggest layering your lanterns. to be adding this pillow that I got from Ikea so the pillow insert and the pillow cover were sold separately and I chose to go with that color because it adds a nice contrast against the dark chairs and it also ties in really nicely with the basket plant pots that I have and just adds a nice boho feel to the balcony and I'm just going to be adding a candle to this basket plant pot. It looks like a DIY lamp. I just love the boho design of this. And we're finally done decorating the balcony. And here is a reminder of what it looked like before. It was completely empty and it was not functional. And this is what it looks like after. I love this transformation so much. It's definitely my new favorite spot. It's just so relaxing. It's just so beautiful. It's just my little escape oasis that's an extension of my home. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I really do hope that you guys found some great ideas to decorate your outdoor spaces. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video, please leave your thoughts below in the comments and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed as yet. I will see you in the next video. Bye!